COVID kind of ruined everything. But the first day back to school after weeks of online learning and there are mixed feelings about returning in a year that's pulled students in and out of class for closures and COVID-19 exposures. Experts believe the instability is creating long-term effects for mental health, learning and development. I was enjoying online life and I mean there's only a few weeks left so I don't really see the point of coming back. Personally, I don't mind it. I haven't had any really troubles, but that's not the only opinion. The province approved requests from the Calgary Board of Education and Calgary Catholic School District to move to online learning late last month, just before the Alberta government sent all students home while introducing stricter public health orders. School is just a really important place for kids to socialize, uh, to learn, uh, to access resources for those kids who may need special help, either with uh, learning or other aspects of their care. And uh, without school being in session, all of those things are, are lost. It's weird. It's yeah, so it's definitely weird. strange, especially like... Yeah. Going back into classes after like, like yeah. we keep switching between online and school. So. And with final exams coming, some grade 12 students aren't sure how exams with no marks counted and other changes will impact university studies. We have final exams, but they don't really, like if you do bad on them, it doesn't really uh, affect your grade. Last year where um, it wasn't really coordinated as well as it should have been, uh, our marks were frozen, so a lot of people um, didn't really have the incentive to work because if anyone was satisfied with the mark, they didn't really have to learn the re uh, rest of the material, which would probably be useful to them in post-secondary. Online, it's going to be, I bet, harder for people like yeah. to going to college, especially grade 12 students.